the doors of the Pal Expo are open once again for the 82nd International Motor Show of Geneva. Whilst Geneva might not be one of the biggest shows, it is still considered one of the most important, alongside the likes of Paris, Frankfurt and Detroit. And 2012 was no different, with the world premieres of several key new models taking place. SPD's Secure Car team were there looking for the latest trends in vehicle security and smart fee technology, which we brought to you on our SPD Live site, hot off the press last week. Now, in this video report, we focus in on the details of the latest smart key developments from the likes of Chevrolet, Porsche, PSA Group and Mitsubishi, and analyse what this shows for the future of smart key technology. We also cover two of the more exciting developments in charging cable security on electric vehicles from Renault and Volvo. Electric vehicles are commonly being used to showcase the best vehicle technologies with regards to comfort and convenience and the newly crowned European Cars of the Year, the Chevrolet Bolt and Opel Ampera, were no different. Both vehicles are fitted with an identical smart key system. The push button start or power button on the central console certainly matches the latest trends, but the smart entry and emergency start methods are behind competitor systems for convenience. The use of a single push button on the door handles to provide both smart lock and smart unlock can be confusing for customers and shows a lower technology image than competitors, many of whom now use touch sensors. For the emergency start, customers are highly unlikely to intuitively find the key slot hidden underneath the rubber lining of the storage area on top of the dashboard. End customer research has always shown the need for clear customer direction on emergency start procedures to avoid customer complaints something which could yet prove an issue for Opel or Chevrolet with this system. In contrast, the clear direction from the new Peugeot, Citroën and Mitsubishi systems should help to avoid these issues. The latest joint venture vehicle between these manufacturers were all revealed at Geneva as the new Mitsubishi Outlander, Citroën C4 Aircross and Peugeot 4008 all broke cover. Like the Chevrolet Bolt, they also use a single push button on the door handle for smart lock and unlock and use push button start on the dashboard. The emergency start ignition port is also hidden, this time in the glove box, but after two unsuccessful attempts at starting the engine, the multi-function display clearly explains the emergency start procedure. These new systems also mean that both Citroen and Peugeot have doubled the number of models that they offer a smart key system on. SPD understand that the technology will continue to be rolled out on other models in the near future. From manufacturers just starting out with first generation smart key systems to a manufacturer with almost 100% fitment, Audi launched a new A3 with smart key, meaning the TT is the only model in their range without it. Maybe the planned full model change in 2013 will see that rectified. The A3 smart entry and smart start functionality follows the standard Audi design, with touch sensors for lock and unlock and a push button start. The emergency start procedure of holding the key fob to the side of the steering column and pushing the start button confirms Audi's trend towards this style over the traditional ignition port, but it's the first time they have fitted a rubber moulding with a key fob symbol to highlight the correct area to customers. Using such a method for emergency start also makes it easy to offer non smart key variants without push button start, which Audi seems to have done on certain variants, although the exact fitment strategy could not be confirmed by the Audi representatives. Offering smart entry without smart start is a strange step and SPD will be monitoring this to see the customer reactions. One manufacturer definitely offering smart entry without smart start is Porsche. With the Geneva focus on the new Boxster, SPD were able to get some more details on the 2011 Frankfurt show start, the 911. This vehicle uses a push button to smart lock and a touch sensor to unlock the vehicle. An interesting handle design also gives the preferred styling of a horizontal grip, but the convenience of a lift style opening. However, Porsche say that they want their customers to feel fully engaged in the start procedure of their vehicle and therefore chose not to fit smart start to this model. Our final stops at Geneva were to see the progress on electric vehicles. One of the show's star attractions was the new Renault Zoe, which uses a smart key system as part of the security protection for the charging cable. As with all Renault systems, the vehicle is fitted with walkaway locking which locks the doors, sets the alarm and also locks the charging cable into place when the customer walks away from their vehicle. As yet, this is the highest level of protection that any OEM has given against theft of charging cables, something which SVD see as inevitable problems for the future due to thieves targeting the expensive copper inside the cable. Volvo have also considered cable security on their EC30, 
There is no physical lock holding the cable in place, but if the cable is removed whilst the alarm is set, then the siren will sound and a separate alarm signal will be sent to the owner's smartphone through their Volvo app. It's not yet clear if this will cause any issues with false alarms, but it's a step up from many other OEMs who currently offer no protection against cable theft. So that was it from Geneva, where we found another step increase in fitment of smart heat technology and the early signs that OEMs are starting to consider cable security for EVs. If you're interested in finding out more about the latest developments in Geneva, then don't forget to read our blogs on the SBD Live site or contact us at info at sbd.co.uk or on 01908 305 105 to find out what information we could have for you. Thanks for watching.